So, Marin from Merchfab. This video, I'm showing you how you shouldn't be using a vernier measuring caliper. All right, so this this is you know kind of like an engineer's tool that is normally used for measuring. Uh, outside diameters of things, inside diameters of things, you can measure the depth using the bottom of it, but everything I do with this one is basically just completely abusing it, so definitely don't go and borrow one off an engineer and do any of the stuff I'm about to show you because um, he's probably going to murder you if you do. Alright, so this this is just a cheap I think this was 10 quid. You can get them off Amazon, eBay. You know, not gonna be highly accurate for the purpose it's designed for, but for what I'm showing you, which is just some tricks for measuring, marking out, it's great. You don't wanna buy yourself a good one and then start doing this with it. So a cheap one of these, you can get a digital one, but generally when it's just being thrown around and abused and getting full of, uh, grinding dust and all that sort of stuff. I just prefer to have one, um, you know, with no dials on it or anything. All right, so when I, when I say I'm abusing this, I'm basically using the uh, sharp ends as a scribing tool. Instead of using, instead of marking anything out and then scribing it, I'm literally using this as my scribing tool. If I wanted to mark out four bolt holes equally in the corners of this, say like, 20 millimeters in from each edge. I'll just set the caliper to 20, scribe it like that. There's a scribe mark. So there's a real basic one. Next trick. So, say you wanna, you've got this, is gonna be a foot plate for, I don't know, table leg or something. Got a quick trick for that. So, we're gonna do, we're gonna measure our base, which looks like a rectangle. So we've got 225. And we got two, one, zero. And then our, our rectangular box, this should be 50 by 100. Yeah. So we're going to do 225 minus 100. And then we're going to divide it by two. And that is going to be 225 minus 100. 125 divided by 2 equals 62.5. Now on this side, we are going to do 210 minus the 50, because the box is 100 by 50. Divide that by 2. 210 minus 50. 160 divided by 2 equals 80. We've minus the size of the box off the overall plate, divided it by two to give us the measurements either side for what we want. Set the old caliper to 80, lock it off. This one's going a bit blunt. It's 62.5 this way. If you don't know how to read these, basically set it to 62, so the zero, you can see that the zero is lined up with the two, and then you want to go along to the five, and then you nudge it along until the next line perfectly matches up with the five. So the, I've nudged it along a little bit until the five on the bottom edge basically matches up with the next line. If you wanted to do six, 
you've got to nudge it a little bit further and you'll see the six nine lines up with, with that next line and then it just goes along like that they're they're easy to use and then scribe that in I don't know whether you can see that properly but we've got a 50 by 100 box scribed out perfectly in the center of this and then obviously you can just uh, line her up weld her on you can use that same technique if you wanted to mark out uh, exact bolt centers so if you had a 100 by 100 bolt centers and you were trying to work out the center for the bolt centers on a rectangular plate then you could do it like that once you've done a bit of it you'll get really fast at it and all this stuff literally takes you like a few seconds and you can get it you know pretty accurate um, if if you had two sides of this that weren't that straight weren't any um, very well cut you only need one nicely cut right angle um, because really you only need that right angle there to get your leg set square you don't really need all four so if you as long as you've got one right angle then you can um, you can still do it all right next trick um, say you wanted to radius this edge you wanted to mark out a perfect radius on this edge and you wanted it a 70 millimeter radius to edge around this corner set the old uh, caliper up to 70 give yourself a little mark on this top edge a little mark on the bottom edge and then where those marks are from that mark, mark straight up give yourself a scribe up there and then same from the other side give yourself a scribe from there so we've now got that cross point there give that a little punch and then just set your caliper a fraction back set it back maybe half a millimeter just stops it catching on the edge and then you can sit the back of your caliper in your punch hole and then just use your caliper to so there we go you got a nice uh, radius edge on that if you can't get away with having a punch mark on the front of what you're doing then just do the mark on the back mark it on the back you can then use that technique if you want to mark out a full circle obviously you just carry it on round um, you know an easy way of marking measuring accurate circles um, so if you wanted to completely round off one edge of a piece you would just measure it so that's 92 so what's that 46 describe it that way describe it that way as well center punch knock it back a little bit half a millimeter and just scribe it all the way around next trick so you've got a long piece or whatever bottom edge of something and you need you need I don't know, like 10 holes all the way along this bottom edge 20 millimeters off the bottom edge uh, equally spaced at um, 100 millimeters in between each hole so you're gonna do your 20 
you're going to scribe this all the way along the bottom edge at 20 mil. 20 mil along this back edge to give you, uh, you know, the perfect corner to start on. Gonna punch that corner. This is gonna be, the accuracy of this is gonna depend really on how good you are of a center punch, how close to, you know, your scribe lines you are. So what did I say, 100. Set your vernier to, vernier to 100. Stick one end in your center punch hole. Use the other end to make a cross scribe. All right, the next one. Stick your vernier in, make a cross scribe. All right, the next one. Hole punch. Stick your vernier in. Scribe. My next one, so I've got four holes, you know, I go all the way on this and like I say, if you're, if you're accurate with that, you can get this pretty accurate. Um, much easier than using a pen or whatever. Um, so there you go, there's a few tricks of the way that I use one of these all the time, saves you loads of time and yeah just a really good tool to have get yourself a cheap junky one for doing this and then you can get yourself i've got a decent one for you know any time i want to measure anything accurately which is not very often to be honest the only problem you'll have is that these ends will go dull they won't leave a sharp scribe anymore you can grind these edges so they're sharp again but only, you only want to be grinding the outside edge you don't ever want to try and grind anything on the inside so there you go that should uh, make marking out a little bit easier for you and um, that's just a few uses you can use it for once you start once you start using this in the way that it shouldn't be used then you'll you'll just end up using it all the time and you'll work out ways of measuring and marking you know even if you just want to if you if you cut a piece and you need to take uh, exactly 15 millimeters off the whole edge of it you know you, it's just a really quick scribe and it's marked and then you cut it you know it's a absolutely awesome tool so yeah hope that was useful cheers for watching see you next time